I'm just gonna do that. Hi, I'm Maya. I am a sophomore at Duchenne, and this is what girls wear. We were born of clay and immaterial regrets, summoned from molten lava with bags of blood and sticks of bone. We were both clothed in sprinkles of fur, both swaddled in robes of mud until, until we stopped drinking water and he started drinking wine, until we became the silver to his gold, until his steps ascended and ours descended, until we became pretty when clay was melted and sculpted into a statue, something inanimate, something to be observed from afar, something that was a blotch in his background, when our voices swallowed our words and hungry little babies crumpled our thoughts in their fat fists, immaterial regrets, never materializing because we don't regret and he does. He regrets something, anything, so we put us in dresses to stop us from running away from him so that our legs would get caught up in our inferiority. He gave us gold too heavy to climb in, gave us corsets that lace by lace stifled any protest, ripped the stitch lining of lungs, turned diaphragms inside out, and threaded them between ribs that are not even ours because man birthed woman from the womb of a rib. They stuffed any space left with frothy lace, tipped white like ocean waves to remind us that we are drowning. They peppered us with powder for our faces that settled in our lungs. They stitched their inescapable superiority into bleached bonnets, burned away their unnamed fears with curling irons. They gave us stilettos to remind us of our downhill slope, taught us to look your best, dear, but neglected to mention what would happen if we did. For birthdays, Little boys get toy swords. They are the ones that will combat injustice, but injustice has such lovely wrappings. We forget it is hiding under the big pink bow. We forget it is sewn into the princess costumes, to the puff purple sleeves, to the glitter encrusted shoes, to the little tin crown. That means we have a kingdom the boys will fight for while we look our best. It means fighting died with dignity because nobody saves anybody with lipstick.